Good afternoon from Phillip Island Grand Prix circuit and from my sweaty face. It's hard work out there driving this thing, but it's so involving and rewarding. We're at Phillip Island in the wet. This is the Grand Prix circuit and we're with the Alpine A110. It's almost unanimously been the car of the year of 2018. We've got it for a little while. We're all day here on track and then we're doing on-road tests as well. We're putting together a full review of the car over the next few weeks. But since we've got the car for so long, we thought why not put together some hot lap videos and show you point of view what the car is like driving on track. So today we have got both on YouTube and on Instagram, which you can put a link here or something, See hot laps, point of view in both wet and dry conditions of the Alpine. What a little machine this thing is. This is a horsepower circuit. Phillip Island is a track which generally favors cars with a, a higher top speed, mostly because of the massive front straight. But it also has something of a, a pendulum nature to the corners. It's got long sweeping bends that cover over crests and in a car that's as light and as nimble as the Alpine, even though it's got an engine which is less than two liters, it's a, a twin turbo 1.8, I think. It only weighs 1050 kilograms. It's, it's just over a ton. And you have this wonderfully neutral feeling on the chassis, which means that even though you are overtaken by most Porsches and GT3s on the straights, you find that you kind of drift back into their rear view mirrors through the corners. So it's a, a great cat and mouse chasing game. So we're gonna have a full review on YouTube. If you wanna watch that, click subscribe. But over the next few minutes, enjoy a wet hot lap of the Alpine A110 on Phillip Island. And if you go to Instagram, you'll see a dry one as well. Thank you, enjoy, and subscribe. Okay, off we go. A few little annotations, otherwise I'll shut up and let you listen to the engine. That's the radio you can hear. You'll see in the middle of the steering wheel I've got this inviting red sport button. You press it once, you enable sport mode. If you press and hold it, that's how you enable track mode. You see the whole instrument cluster will change for me there. It is really wet out there, so we're taking it very easy on the first lap, just figuring out the conditions. In the dry, for context, we were doing a 1 minute 54. One thing you're going to see a bit of is just how often the steering wheel straightens up through the middle of a corner. You can trail brake just a little bit in the Alpine to pivot the tail around, and you end up almost dancing through the corner on your toes. That's a sign of a really nicely balanced chassis. Very carefully through the final corner, this corner is a real pendulum. If you take too much speed on the entry, you're going to throw yourself wide. So we want to be very careful and get as much speed as possible down at the first turn.
That was a good one. That was hard work. That was hard work.